ーの情報をお届けするソーカルジャパン今週の日経ニュースまずは熊本地震の義援金を集めるチャリティーコンサート続いて日本食レストラン伊勢島ビアガーデンオープンです特集はビヨンドビヨンド陶芸家アダムシルバーマンさんですローカルイベントやプレゼントのお知らせもお見逃しなくそれではソーカルジャパンスタートジャパンスタート4月に起きた熊本地震の義援金を集め復興を支援しようと5月28日チャリティーコンサートがガーデナで開かれましたコンサートは熊本出身でロサンゼルス在住のフラメンコダンサー安藤道夫さんと友人のアンディ松本さんが中心となって立ち上げた団体ラブフォー熊本が主催し50人以上のボランティアの協力によって実現しましたこの日は日系コミュニティのアーティストら5組が4時間にわたってパフォーマンスを披露しました2回目の地震が起きた時にこれは何としてでも何か私は自分のそのふるさとのためにしなくてはならないという気になってたくさんの方が支援したいという方が出てきましてもう皆さんの愛の本当に善意のその気持ちだけでこれが達成できたんだと私は思っています実際にあの避難されて、えー、心苦しい蛇を送っていられる方もいらっしゃるとは思うんですけど私たちができることっていうのはやっぱりその、えー、土地土地で根を張って。あの力強く生きて楽しいイベントにしないと人っていうのはやっぱり来ないので1円でも10円でも多くのファンドを集めて熊本県の方たちにあの協力できたらいいなと考えてますこのイベントではおよそ1万3500ドルが集まりました現在も各団体が熊本への義援金を募集しています詳しくは UTB の特設ページをご覧くださいトーランスの都ハイブリッドホテル内にある本格日本料理店伊勢島レストランで6月1日から8月1日にかけてビアガーデンを開催します5月27日に開かれたオープニングセレモニーでは関係者が一足先にビアガーデンの雰囲気や料理を楽しみました日本では1953年に大阪で始まって以来夏の風物詩としても定着しているビアガーデン今回伊勢島では居酒屋メニューや飲み放題を用意し日本の夏を演出します We have group packages for 15 or more groups of people We're offering $65 for a package for two hours of unlimited beer and family style food The beer garden menu is more catered to izakaya style So we have a lot of pub style food Uh, most of the food is ten dollars and under. We try to kind of have the guests come out, enjoy the summer, the weather,、uh, the environment around here, and the patio as well. So, ビアガーデンは平日の5時から10時まで開催されます。また、伊勢島では屋内の内装をリニューアル。カーテンによって座席に仕切りを作り、プライベートな空間を用意しました。伊勢島で仕事帰りに日本の夏を楽しんでみませんか？さてここで UTV 開局45周年視聴者プレゼントのお知らせです今週はファウンテンバレーにある日本食レストラン三ツ吉のお食事券20ドル分を10名様に差し上げます詳しい応募方法は UTV のホームページをご覧ください Slowly, my flower vases became more expressive, more abstract. I was making the hole smaller and smaller and smaller until it was so small. Then I finally closed it. And he got really upset. He said, This is very difficult. This is not generous work for flowers. This is very hard for me to work with. Right. Allowing myself to do it and making the decision to do it and committing to it、um, and not being afraid was a very big decision. My name is Adam Silverman. I was born in New York, moved to Los Angeles when I was 25. Just 
just turned 25. I started my career as an architect, my training is in architecture, and worked for about five years in architecture, and then with a friend of mine started a clothing company. During both of those periods was making ceramics um, as a hobby. You know, when I was making buildings and architecture, and then when I was doing the clothing business, and even when it was feeling good doing those things, the pottery was the thing that always felt the best and felt like the right thing to be doing. And then decided in 2002 to make it my career. So since then, so for whatever that is, 14 years now. You know, for the first probably five years that I was working full-time in ceramics, I made only functional work. Really the most basic, like bowls and cups and plates, and then flower vases. And slowly the flower vases became more expressive, more abstract, less functional. I was making the hole smaller and smaller and smaller until it was so small. Then I finally closed it. And it was actually a pretty scary moment. I remember once I was in, in Japan and I was eating at a sushi restaurant and the guy um, asked what, what I was doing there. My friend trans, was translating and she said, he's a potter, he's here working. And he said, oh, I'd like to see his work. I'm an Ikebana artist. So she pulled out her laptop and started showing him my work and he got really upset. He said, this is not generous work for flowers. This is very hard for me to work with, um, but that's what I've been doing. You know, I've been going to Mashiko since 2005, so 11 years. Um, and that's a special place for me and I have a lot of friends there. It's, it's, you know, it's very different than Los Angeles. It's country, it's real country, and it's, and it's a town based on ceramics, which is interesting. And working there was great. You know, I would get up really early, so wake up with the frogs and walk to the studio before the sun's up. The nice thing about Mashiko is no one's famous. You know, everyone's just working. It's, it's, a, it's a real pottery town. I mean, I, there have been some influences a little bit on my work, I think, from there. Just a more relaxed attitude towards it and not um, feeling like I need to control every component of it. I like that there's some gambling to it that you never really know what it's going to do inside the kiln. You know, you, you can try to control it, but I actually try not to do it too much. I try to embrace the unknown um, part of it, the gambling part of it sort of the pace of things, the, the slowness of it. The ceramics fits into that because people use it in a much deeper way. You know, everyone's meals are much slower and more thoughtful and what the food is presented on or the tea is presented in is a much bigger deal than it is here. A couple years after the sushi story, um, with uh, the guy I work with there, whose name is Tomi Okoyama, it's an art gallery. He saw this one little piece with the hole closed and he said, what's that? And I said, yeah, I know it's the first time I closed the hole. I'm feeling insecure about it, whatever. And he said, no, let's do a show of that. You need to do that. So, so that was a big turning point. And I think, you know, I was ready. I, I needed his encouragement, but also I was ready. And I think you need to make, you know, 10,000 cups and bowls or whatever the number is until you're skilled enough to make stuff that's more abstract and more challenging. So it feels good. I mean, it, I feel like I'm in the right place now. I don't know. I'm, I'm able to survive. You know, I can sell enough work to survive, so that means then it's okay.星野富広さんの滋賀を鑑賞しながら新木を深める春麗会富広美術館を囲む会が6月25日土曜日午後2時より入川で お問い合わせはご覧のところまでオレンジカウンティフレンドシップクワイアが11月19日と20日ドクターズシンフォニーオーケストラと共演する演奏会での合唱参加者を募集しています
練習は各週金曜日午後7時30分からお問い合わせはご覧のところまで Twitter? Twitter? <laughs> <laughs>